Welcome to English 9 class. We are now going to discuss the week 5, which is adverbs. But before that, let me discuss to you the objectives or the target for this week. Use adverbs in oral and written communication. Distinguish the five types of adverbs. Express ideas using adverbs through creating a campaign ad. But before that, answer the activity that will be sent to you by your teacher. It is a looking back activity regarding communicative styles. Just click the link on your DC to answer the questions in the quizzes. Then after you answer, let's now proceed to the lesson proper, which is adverbs. Adverbs are words used to modify a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. For example, she beautifully paints the flower. In a normal sentence, we are identifying the three main parts of it, which is the subject, the verb, or object, or in short, the SVO sentence structure. Now, let's find out where is the SVO, the subject, verb, or object of the example. The subject of the sentence or being talked about is the word she or the pronoun she. Because this pronoun is the doer of the action in the sentence. Where the subject does the painting. So that is our verb, the word paints. And the receiver of the verb paints is the object, the flower. In the sentence that usually is not included, aside from the SVO, which is the word beautifully, which is left behind. And that is what we call the adverb. Now, beautifully modifies the word paints. It describes how the subject paints the flower. It answers the question how. How did she paint the flower? The answer is an adverb which is beautifully. As you can see, it is not the flower which is beautiful. Yet, it is beautiful but according to the sentence, it is not the flower being beautiful but it is the way the subject paints it. Adverbs answer the questions how, when, where, how often, and to what extent. For further clarification, I'm going to give you an example. This is a sentence that has a lot of adverbs in it. Yesterday, Jimmy very carefully planted the vegetables outside the house. I will give you 5 seconds to identify the adverbs on it. Very good! The adverbs in the sentence are Yesterday Very Carefully And outside These adverbs are the answer to the questions Like When did Jimmy plant the, plant the vegetables? The answer is yesterday to what extent did Jimmy carefully plant the vegetables it's very carefully how did Jimmy plant the vegetables carefully and lastly where did he plant it outside now I hope that you are clear with the, the function of adjectives in the sentence. 
Now let's move on to the types of adverbs. There are five types. The first among the five is the adverb of manner. It answers the question, how? Adverbs of manner are used to tell the way in which something happens. They mainly modify verbs and are formed by adding li to their equivalent adjectives. For example, Ryan gently slices the apple. The question here is, how did Ryan slice the apple? The answer is, gently. There are any examples here, like, they loudly sang the school hymn. Obviously, the adverb is the word loudly. loudly. Jane walks fast. How did Jane walk? Fast. That is our adverb. Eat well. The adverb is well. As you notice, most of the adverbs of manner end with the word li. Because they are former adjectives that transformed into adverbs since they they now modify verbs. So, we just added li and made it an adverb. But some other adverbs of manner do not end with the word li, like fast and dwell. They just modify the verb and they began adverbs. Now, kindly identify the adverb manner in the sentence. What number are you calling, madam? The operator asked patiently. Five seconds to answer. Very good. The answer is patiently. So the second type is the adverb of degree. It answers the question to what extent? Adverbs of degree modify verbs, adjectives, and other adverbs by showing their intensity or extent. For example, she is well eaten. She is nearly hungry. She is quite hungry. She is almost hungry. She is just hungry. She is hungry enough. She is completely hungry. She is extremely hungry. Hungry. As you notice in the, in the sentences, they have the same ideas, but uh, they differ according to the degree of hunger. From well eaten to extremely hungry. That's how adverbs of degree work. Now, identify the adverb of degree in the sentence. After repacking the relief goods, the volunteer worker was entirely exhausted. Five seconds. Very good. The answer is entirely. The third type is the adverb of place. It's just too easy because you're going you're just going to identify or answer the question where? Adverbs of place tell where something happens. Usually, they modify verbs. For example, the plane flies above the clouds. I dropped my wallet somewhere. Please come here. My soulmate is nowhere to be found. Just put my book there. Above, somewhere, here, nowhere, and there are all examples of adverbs of place. They tell location just like what prepositions do. Now, identify the adverb of place in the sentence. People have started to work from home almost everywhere in 5 seconds. Very good. The answer is everywhere. The fourth type of adverb is adverb of time. It just simply answers the question when or when the action takes place. Adverbs of time identify when the verb took place. For example, let's play basketball now. Now is the adverb of time telling when 
will they play the basketball? Children are too lazy nowadays. We went to Deca Homes yesterday. Our teacher will give a long quiz tomorrow. I have had the strangest feeling lately. Now, nowadays, yesterday, tomorrow, and lately are all examples of adverbs of time telling when the action takes place. Now, identify the adverb time in the sentence. The new normal today is staying at home, wearing a mask, and observing social distancing. 5 seconds. Great! You are correct. The answer is today. The last type of adjectives among the five is the adverbs of frequency. It answers the question, how often? Adverbs of frequency explain how often the verb occurs. They are placed right before the main verb in the sentence that they modify. For example, COVID-19 usually targets weak people. Usually is the adverb of frequency used. I will never ride the bus again. We oftentimes go for a walk to talk. Joe repeatedly dialed her number but she did not answer the call. As you can see, usually, never, oftentimes, repeatedly, do modify a frequency or frequent or how often an action could happen. There are some uh, certain types of levels of frequency which will which in this table is interpreted through percentage. Never has 0% of frequency since the action will never happen and always has the 100% frequency since always or the action will be done always. Now, identify the adverb of frequency in the sentence. Department of Health constantly reminds the public that washing of hands is the best way to prevent the contagion due to the virus. 5 seconds. Very good. The answer is constantly. Now, after I discussed all the five types of adverbs and their functions, let's test your acquired skills. Just click the link of the activity that will be sent to you by the teacher in your group chat. Then after you answer it, let's try this individualized activity. You may take it home and submit it next Friday. Create a five-sentence paragraph describing yourself using the five types of adverbs. Write it on a long bond paper and afterwards list down all the adverbs in the table below and identify their types. First step that you're going to do is to write a five sentence paragraph regarding yourself. But don't forget to use the five types of adverbs. Then under your paragraph, create a two column table and label it at the top adverbs used on the left side and types of adverb in the right side and list down all the adverbs that you use and on the opposite column identify their types submit it on Friday scoring rubric you should use appropriate adverbs 30% should observe necessary writing conventions like grammar punctuations and capitalizations, that's 30%. Focuses on a central theme, that's 20%. Shows creativity and originality of work, 20%. For a total of 100%. And that's it. Happy learning!